can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you what is going on guys welcome back to the channel we'll go back to another video so this is your boy um in the 435 yeah a little bit of chain of scene or we're not actually in the six series we're not actually doing something with my brother's car our brother's car the windows it still needs to be recalibrated we'll figure that out another day the 650i the roof isn't really working so we're still trying to figure that out um i ordered all the parts we're just waiting on that to come in so now we are actually taking out the 435 because the 435 I actually have some more carbon for it and i thought what i had earlier was one of the most underrated carbon fiber bits this is actually one of the most underrated carbon fiber bits because i've never actually heard of it or have even seen it for this car in person so i've never actually seen a person so i'm actually go ahead slap it on today and we got a lot of things we got to fix in terms of seats, in terms of the airbag light, and we should try to make this car mint. You guys know this is currently my daily, so I would love to make this as nice as possible. So you guys are gonna be seeing all that in today's video, so uh, stay tuned. It's gonna be a banger one. All right guys, just money to Chipotle. Hopefully they're open. All right guys, just got some Chipotle. Let's head down to the shop. Guys, imagine you put tire lettering on big old trucks. I wonder how that would look. That would be so sick. Imagine if you put your tow rig too. You'd have your car sitting up there. Oh man, that would be sick. Goals, guys, goals. My goal for copper is to have a truck towing copper. Same color as the tire lettering in Goodyear. I think that would look so sick. Just got here at the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and just chow down real quick and then we'll start working on copper. So uh, let's get into it. Back on that Chipotle life. All right, guys, so we just made it to the shop. I finished up lunch. Uh, before we actually do any mods, before we start taking anything out of the car uh let's just go ahead and clean it up it is absolutely filthy especially the rear end of the car i don't know if you guys can see that but um yeah absolute filth so let's go ahead and just wash the car make it look all pristine and then go ahead and take it inside and start putting on some mods we also got to fix a few things so uh let's just get into all that i'm pretty sure the power washer is broken so we're gonna do this good old-fashioned way All right, let's work on this little by little. I think the first thing I want to do, before mods, I want to get everything cleared up in the interior. Um, we do have an airbag light, so I'm gonna have to take out that seat, replace, this, replace the seatbelt tensioner. And on this side, I want to show you guys what's going on with this, the arm. It's not working because this has this extra plastic piece. So we're gonna do a little bit of a retrofit. We'll see what we're gonna have to do here. But the other side always works fine. This side is an issue. Maybe we have to push the seat a little bit this way, but we'll figure it out. And then also clear all the lights so this thing is mint from the inside. Once it's mint from the inside, we have a lot of mods going on back here. We have something for the wheels, some things for the rear. Let's get into it. So uh, let me show you guys what's going on from the inside that I'm not really liking too much. So every time I get inside the car, the passenger side doesn't do this, but the driver's side does. Look at the seatbelt tensioner. Isn't it? No, not the seatbelt tensioner, but the little uh, arm. Okay, I throw the keys inside the car, right? And I go ahead and close the door. Look at the arm. It basically drops it as soon as it gets near this. Let's go ahead and try that one more time. So opening up the door, it goes back, it hits this little plastic thing. As I close it, you guys can see again, it just snaps right off. So anywho, what we're gonna do right now is just go ahead and take off the passenger seat and put that back in. I'm gonna try to push it towards the inside of the cabin so the seatbelt doesn't hit it. Um, this is the one I got from my original seats. Apparently the one on both of these seats were blown, so even the passenger one. This car must have been in a really bad accident if even the passenger one blew. But thankfully I removed them both off my other seats so we are good to go. Hopefully I find a third key, you never know. Anywho, let's go ahead and pull out that second seat. All right, first things first guys, we're gonna have to go ahead and disconnect the battery. While we're actually back here, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this trunk. You guys see got a lot of blankets some nights I, I tend to sleep at the shop so I have the blankets you know it's those late night grinds but uh, anywho I need to clean this up around here and we're gonna go ahead and just disconnect the battery because I'm not trying to have any airbags blow on me I'm just trying to have all these airbag lights disappear you know what I mean I'll go ahead and leave my scooby-doo blanket right here just in case we don't close the trunk the last time I closed the trunk I had to have John come out here and jump the car from the front this car is so dumb I don't I don't understand why they don't put an actual key on the trunk and there's no way of manually opening this from the inside so it really sucks you have to actually jump the car um anyhow all that being said i just realized something uh we can't even move these seats without the battery to be connected so uh take two go ahead and reconnect the battery real quick went ahead and remove all the bolts on this side uh the other side i'm actually gonna remove all the bolts but i'm just gonna loosen it so i could push it inwards so maybe this seat buckle won't be hitting that plastic i did realize there's a screw right back here and you can remove all this plastic trimming um but i don't know i really do like it and there's also a way maybe i could trim around it where you guys can see like that that 
splice in between the two plastics, I might be able to just trim around that and make it look as clean as possible. But again, it's not gonna look as good. So I'm gonna just try to push the seat over to the inner. Hopefully I can move it as much as I can. And hopefully the seatbelt should be able to get grabbed and uh, latched on. All right guys, I just ended up replacing it. Looking at them both now, you can see them side by side. This one that I currently just removed, you guys can see is a little bit more buckled. So yeah, this is buckled. It's kind of shocking that it barely buckled. That really didn't do anything really. But that means this should make a difference. Let's go ahead and install it and we should be good to go. All right guys, now that we have both seats in, the battery's reconnected, let's go ahead and plug in Carly and see if we can get rid of this airbag light. And that brings us to today's sponsor, Carly. So if you guys ever wanted to code your car, if you guys are trying to clear check engine lights to do any kinds of fancy coding, even reset your battery, configure your new battery, pretty much anything to do with coding, Carly can handle and it's just, and you can connect it to your phone just Bluetoothly. You don't actually have to have a computer, which saves so much time when it's so easy. Just connect your phone to it anywhere you are and just code it. Super easy to do. You don't need to actually know codes. You just need to literally click light code that easy or like folding mirrors code that's it there's step-by-step -step instructions all that good stuff so if you guys want to cop one check out the, the first link down below without further ado let's go ahead and clear my check engine light hopefully it goes away all right let's go ahead and plug in carly i think it's yep right over here see if the light yep there you guys can see it you guys can see the airbag light is still there but i replaced the seatbelt tension the seat is hooked up so let's go ahead and go on carly and just go ahead and see if we can clear the codes and then once it connects you just click on health right here and then check for issues and it will literally tell us all the issues It'll tell us what exactly is the issue so on this it says passenger restraint system it could be anything but when you when you plug in carly it actually tells you it's the seatbelt tension that's why even for me i couldn't really notice it was bad but since the code says it's bad it's most likely bad so let's hope to god this actually fixes it it's my only light on the dash no other lights the check engine lights only because the car is an accessory but other than that no other lights on the dash please let this go away and it still says clearing guys, but check that out. No more airbag light. I'm hoping it's actually fully gone. I don't know, we're about to have, we have to start up the car and see if there's any lights on the dash, but I mean, check that out. So this app can literally fix all your issues and I hate airbag lights. Obviously you still have to fix the issue, but that can get instantly cleared with this app and this and this adapter. So again, if you guys wanna cop this stuff, make sure to check out that link down below. But this thing is still cleaning up my car. I don't know what's going on. I guess it's clearing more and more things. All right guys, it already said cleared. The screen went away. Let's go ahead and start up the car real quick. Seat belt in and check that out guys. No lights on the dash. The only error is a set date and time. So this thing is looking pretty pristine if you ask me. So one more thing I want to fix in the interior. I took out these buttons. These are my original buttons because I had because I got new buttons with the actual heated seats. I don't know if you guys checked out the last video, but we installed heated seats into this 435, which is awesome. So these M4 seats are heated. My car didn't come with heated seats. All you need to do to pretty much get these seats to work is literally program them and get those buttons. That's it. So that was honestly a huge come up right there. That's awesome. So finally, this car has heated seats. Um, but if you guys look at those buttons there in the middle, it's worn out so i'm gonna go ahead and replace those buttons as well but before we actually do that the spaces are at home so that's what i got i pretty much want this fitment to be as aggressive as possible with a little bit more camber i think it's gonna look super sick in the rear so we have some spaces i hope we'll be installing either, either in today's video or another video but right now we have some more carbon fiber so let's go ahead and add that carbon fiber all right and we got this package from keys motorsports so it's pretty small you guys probably look at this what kind of carbon fiber is in here and i think this is honestly one of the most underrated carbon fiber pieces for this car because I didn't even know this was a thing until I was talking to Brian from Keys Motorsports and he was like, you're missing out a little bit more carbon. And I was like, I need more carbon? He's like, yes. So I was like, all right. Let's cop it. So let me show you guys what we got inside this box. I don't really, I mean, this looks a lot smaller than I imagined to be honest with you guys, but uh, we're about to find out how much smaller this thing is. Maybe it actually takes the full size of the box. Who knows, who knows? Okay, okay. Packaging's on point. Whole bunch of bubble wrap, can't beat that. Go ahead and unwrap this little dude. Oh, you can't beat that either. So it already has pre-cut holes, which is perfect. Another jet tag for the boys. So these are basically rear little shark fins for the rear bumper, and these look absolutely stunning, guys. Look at the gloss on this thing. Oh my god, even the even the back, it has already the cutout for the hole, so no need to do any weird cutting. I'm gonna go ahead and put some 3M and also bolt this on. So you guys don't have carbon from the sides going around. We have a carbon fiber lip protected by a fitted racing splitter, which looks super good. I got a whole bunch of carbon in the front too, but the rear, you guys know, only carbon I actually know I got I got to be honest, I got a lot of carbon. I mean, but I mean, we gotta add more carbon, you know? Who can we get enough of carbon? So we're gonna go ahead and just install, let's see the fitment real quick, just a little mock-up. And uh, that's how she's sitting right now. That looks really good, oh my God. So uh, let's go ahead and install this bad boy. It's 
check those out that looks so good that finally complements the rear i'm not i wish it wasn't like this part wasn't actually coming up as much but it still looks super good it definitely fills up the rear i'm going to just wipe this real quick so you guys can check it out but um yeah definitely actually helps out with the wheel so basically the wheel is wider than obviously the bumper so this definitely helps out brings it in towards the diffuser so uh these are super cheap super affordable and it's a small accent to the rear bumper but looks so good so again if you guys want to cop these check out the first link down below from keys motorsports and use code nor5 that applies to anything from keys motorsports so use code nor5 that'll help me out give you guys a discount without further we have one more thing we got to do today and then i'll go ahead and pull out the car so you guys can see that carbon and john just brought out a good point the back piece matches like this because this piece actually goes in like that's kind of like a wavy bump and then it comes up. So that's super sick. This is all from Keys Motorsports. So all the carbon matches and looks super good. This is super shiny. The rear diffuser isn't as shiny. It needs to get polished out again. The exhaust is definitely just like doing its work. But um, I do need to polish on my carbon one of these days. Right, let's go ahead and see if I can remove these binds and transfer it onto my new trim because these look a lot better. And the one on my new trim looks just beat. <laughs> All right, guys, I wasn't too shabby. I actually got the buttons out, and it doesn't look like I have to destroy anything to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get my other buttons out and swap out this one. I'm going to look if there's any other buttons I need to swap out, but that's the main one. I mean, it's pretty easy to pop all these out, to be honest. I'm going to have to put this underneath my booty. I don't want to ruin these white seats. I know it's looking like an absolute mess, but uh, three, two, one. And just like that, guys, it is back together. See? Yep, works just like that. Sounds perfect. LEDs look good. Everything's good to go. So the last thing I want to try out at least is the spacer. So hope to God they fit. We're going to try that hopefully tomorrow morning right before this video drops and I'll edit it and get it together. Or if it's not in this video, probably in the next. I have a little update on the channel as soon as I get home for you guys. So uh, let me just wrap up things around here. Get home, get cleaned up, give you guys a small update. Guys, look at these seats. Oh my God. All right, guys, the car is really loud right now. That's because the car, I think, is stage two and it's kind of tuned for the fan as well. But it is super loud. It is a super hot day out as well. So I'm thinking the car needs to try to cool itself down. But that is kind of insanely loud. I'm not going to lie. Anywho, your man, feel, I feel like I'm getting some kind of allergic reaction. My face is like becoming like itchy. I don't know why. But it is a super hot day out. Right now, we just got home. And I wanted to get my dad's car out of here and put some spaces on the 435 to see if there's a big difference or not. And if it looks good or not. Like, I want to see if the car will literally rest on the rim. I think that'd be kind of insane. So without further ado, let's go ahead and attempt it and uh, get this, get my dad's car out of here. Guys, it's been getting so hot. Literally, it started peeling right here. That's crazy. It was no peeling before. But right now, with the stupid heat out here, I thought about moving to Las Vegas. I'm not going to lie. I thought about it because Royalty Exotics is down there. It looks pretty dope. But, uh... No, it is super hot. Guys, my brother actually just got home. Uh, before we actually start working on this sucker, let's go ahead and check out my brother's car real quick. He said he got the check engine light again. Ah, uh, brother, we're gonna have to use Carly again to figure out what's going on here. And the bumper, bro, like, what's going on, dude? Like, bro, bro, like, bro, like, bro, like, bro. What happened? What'd you hit? Anywho, here's a Carly adapter, my G. You're gonna have to plug it in. You know, this video is sponsored by Carly. Just wanna uh -huh. let you know. Here we got Carly to the rescue once again. Going to put E92 2011. Let's go ahead and check the health. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, we're diagnosing right now. Okay, so we have one for the engine, misfiring in cylinder six. Okay, he needs to take this thing back to BMW. It looks like he has either ignition coil, spark plug, or the valve cover. He already got new spark plugs and ignition coils, so this looks like maybe a valve cover job. This isn't gonna be fun, but uh, he does need to get this done. My brother's heading out. He got a stupid cylinder six misfire, so he has to take it down to BMW. He took it down to Le Schwab because it's kind of an alignment issue. He got that fixed. So the car is slowly coming together, but surely he's gonna go down right now. Wash the car, it's absolutely filthy. Why he's doing that, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this one more time, guys. Look at the fitment. This looks absolutely insane. Shout out to Keys Motorsports for this. Now, speaking of fitment, we want this tire to come as close to this as possible. So, let's go ahead and put on a 12 millimeter spacer and see how it looks. I think it's gonna look bazonkers. Let's go ahead and try it. Um, I might even have to roll the fender a little bit if we need to. We'll have to see, because I want this. Hopefully it fits even, because 12 millimeter might be a little bit too thick, and it might be too aggressive. We'll find out right now. Yeah. I actually don't know how much more camber I want to go. This is pretty much nothing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm... 
I'm gonna need some new tires. Make sure this thing isn't bald anywhere. Jeez. Yeah, your man needs to get some new tires. This is looking pretty bad if you ask me. I just wanna give a huge special shout out to Burger Motorsports. These are some 12 millimeter spaces. I was actually gonna install in the 6 Series. We got some new ones for the 6 Series. Bigger ones, actually. Let's go ahead and try these 12 millimeters. And hopefully, this is just the amount of thickness that we need. So what I like to do is to grab the little guiding tool. Just go ahead and thread it in just a little bit. Actually, let's do it from the top. So uh, it actually holds a little bit better. So I'm going to just put it like that. You don't have to tighten it up all the way. It doesn't have to be snug either. Just a little bit. And then this thing would just guide in there. Bam, check that out. Lines up perfectly. Now we can go ahead and put on the wheel and it's gonna line up perfectly because of this as well. This, this tool makes life so much easier. <laughs> I think I might be running this a little bit too thick. I think five millimeters is right. I think 12 meters is a little bit too big. Oh my God. Anywho, let's go and try to air out a little bit and hope to God I don't mess up my quarter panel, but I'm gonna air out little by little and see how this fitment is gonna look. Pray for me I don't mess this up. That is some real fitment, but that looks super aggressive, guys. So actually, it went in with some to spare. So obviously the rim was my, my biggest fear and it actually didn't touch the quarter panel whatsoever, which is great. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up, I'm gonna go ahead and air up again, tighten it all up and see my ride height. But so far, this is how it looks from the rear. A, like a lot more aggressive poke out. If you guys see that, it's not as aggressive of a poke out right there. This side looks absolutely insane. That's 12 millimeter spacers. I think this is 11 in the rear. And then the fronts are about 10 and a half, nine and a half, and then also a 15 millimeter spacer in the front. So these are both spacers from Burger Tuning. I'm actually really happy about the fitment. I was really scared that it was actually not gonna tuck, but it's only the, the tire actually goes inwards with bad. We're going to, again, go up with my right height. Looking at this now, this looks way too caved in. This is way too caved. This is like that much caved in from the top. And this side, oh my God, only like this much. So much better. Let's go ahead and just air up real quick. Let's go to our right height. We're about to find out how big of a difference it is from the right height. My hands are super dirty and white interior. That doesn't work. Let's go ahead and just go to right height real quick. So for those of you, who, for those of you guys who are wondering what my right height is, that's my right height. It's about 70 in the front, 85 in the rear. So on this side, you can put, about your, you can put your hand in here pretty easily. Uh, it's pretty flush, not gonna lie. Looks pretty good, not too much to complain about. On this side, it's just a lot more flush. Maybe a little bit more poke, not gonna lie. But the fitment, oh my God, you can't even put your fingers in there, it's impossible. The wheel is a lot more filled in. While on this side, it feels like the wheel is actually pushed in more, you don't actually see the complete tire. So yeah, I guess I guess we got to do it on this side too. Let me go and tie up the other rim so we don't, it doesn't come off while we're driving. I guess we'll take it out for a test drive on ride height and see if there's any any issues. Cool, it was able to air out. So, as long as the car, it actually aired out perfectly without stopping, which is kind of weird. So, let's go ahead and put it back to ride height. And if it actually drives on ride height and there's no rubbing in the rear, this might be the perfect fitment. All right, let's go ahead and take it out. All right guys, we are backing out. So far, I don't hear any rubbing. I'm gonna go ahead and pay attention to the road. I'm gonna get a GoPro, honestly guys. I'm gonna get a GoPro so you guys can get more like in-person perspectives. I don't hear any weird noises. You ask me. This is a job well done. All right, I'll catch you guys when we get back to the house. <laughs> guys, this Fitment is absolutely insane. I think I've I absolutely maxed out the rears and I absolutely maxed out the fronts. You can't even put a you can't put a card in here. Actually, the fender is slightly bulked out because of how much I maxed out the fronts. So yeah, I'm really, really happy about this Fitment. Super happy the rear doesn't rub, so I don't have to send back those spacers. And huge shout out to Burger Team for the spacers, and again, huge special shout out to Keys Motorsports for the rear carbon fins. If you guys need any of these spacers or the fins, are linked down below. Shout out to both of them. And if you guys are trying to get anything from Keys Motorsports, once again, use code NOR5 and 5% off anything from Keys. So today we're kind of on a roll. We got the we got the airbag light removed, you replaced the buttons, you put on some spacers, put on some carbon. We did a lot of good stuff. Even replaced the seatbelt tensioner. But anyways, guys, um, some coding stuff's gonna happen pretty soon that I'm not really too excited about. Kind of unfortunate, but has to get done. That will probably be coming up in a future video. Also, I uh, I got a, I, I got some other news that happened. 
um, with the 435, it's right here actually. I don't really want to talk about it. Um, we'll talk about it in a future video as well. So without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. If you guys want to be shouted out in the next video, make sure to check out the merch down below. Every $20 spent will be shouted out in the next video and it'll be featured on the 650i plaque once the build is complete. So without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.